All right, so what you're looking at right now is Doom running on Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. Now, I will note that the PC version is running at 4K on Ultra settings with a GTX 1080. This video is from EL and Alista de Bits. I'll put a link down to their channel in the description below. In fact, I'll put a link directly to their video below because I've decided against putting up their true 4K footage. So if you want to see the what, what is a more accurate depiction as they render the video in 4K, considering that it has 4K PC footage, you're going to want to check them out there. But I, I really wanted to share this footage with you guys. One, because I don't think uh, a lot of you guys would see this footage anyways. And two, because we've spent a lot of time talking about doom and its performance on switch now what is very clear from these comparisons as they go through it's obviously pc version is the best pc version is always going to be visually the best and even frame rate wise probably the best especially since you could tweak individual settings to get whatever frame rate you want and obviously what hardware you have is going to largely determine uh, what quality settings you can run at but what is interesting is that the switch version obviously looks worse uh, the Switch version is going to be the worst looking version between Switch, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. But what I take away from all of this is that well, while there's not really you know intense gameplay here, we're just looking at scenes, we're not really looking at any combat or any, any of those kind of comparisons. What I find most interesting is that the Switch version looks passable. Now, this is the first time we've even seen Switch in terms of it being in docked mode this is docked mode footage this is not off screen undocked mode so this is the first time we've seen it in docked mode and while the resolution clearly looks like it's at 720p as they said it would be uh and the frame rate is probably at 30 fps like they said it would be although we're not 100 percent sure because i'm not sitting here counting frames it's really hard to count frames in these small snippets of footage when it's rendered at 4k and 60 fps as is but uh it looks passable. I, I think that's the key thing to take away from this is the Switch version was always going to be the worst looking version because it is the worst hardware that it's being ran on, especially when you're taking into consideration the PC version is being ran at max settings on 4K resolution with a GTX 1080, which is significantly more powerful than even the Xbox One X. But still, it looks passable. Even the moments when the enemies, you know, because of the blurriness that's going to happen uh, as, as maybe they put a filter on or the resolution is bumped down, uh, they show some some long distance shots with the enemies in like way down in the background and even on switch in docked mode at least i could still see those enemies they're still clearly visible and i could clearly still shoot them or do whatever i want from the distance i am at so that was really my main concern with doom uh is one obviously holding a stable frame rate which this does not prove because it's not action sequences this is just more uh, you know taking a look at the world but the second thing i was worried about was because of the lower resolution and maybe some of the detail dialing back that enemies at a distance just would be too hard to spot uh and could leave me at a disadvantage over other platforms but at least based when you're looking at like the xbox one playstation 4 pc and switch footage here uh while obviously nothing looks remotely close to the pc footage uh the switch stuff is playable and I feel like that's what we have to understand here is the Switch version was always going to be the worst possible version of the game. There's no doubt about that. And you could argue because of that, even with the DLC, maybe it's not worth $60 in 2017. But what is clear is that they have done a very, very good job porting this game in terms of its visual presentation. And I am, I'm pleased with the end results here. This is a, what I expect. Now, it is in docked mode, so it should be notable that in... Uh, undocked mode looking at a smaller screen where the pixels are more condensed the game is going to look better uh it, it just is it's factually going to look better and you could maybe see why they didn't want some of this direct feed footage out there because yeah the switch version is gonna, not going to you know look stunning it's not something that you're going to proudly tout uh especially if you're not hitting 60 fps at least but i like it I have no, no regrets. My pre-order of Doom is not canceled. This is actually more reaffirmed my pre-order of Doom. So anyways, folks, you guys let me know what you think about this footage down in the comments below. Again, I want to thank L Annalisa DeBitz 
for creating this this video full credit to them links down in the description to their video and maybe some other comparison videos i found on their channel that i find very very interesting it sounds like tomorrow is going to be the day that people are going to be allowed to show off impressions and more direct feed footage maybe that's when the review embargo embargo goes up on this title after all that would be a, a full day before the game comes out which is pretty standard uh, you guys let me know what you think i'm excited for doom my pre-order is still in although my pre-order is not paid off yet and i don't know if i'm gonna have the money to pay it off sigh 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 but if i don't get to pay it off i definitely will be picking it up early next week when i get my next paycheck but you guys let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below i am nathaniel ruffle dance from nintendo prime if you like this video you know what to do and if you dislike the video hit that dislike button subscribe for more content just like this and i'll catch you in the next one